What's up, guys? Uh, thank you very much for being a leg breaker. I really appreciate that. Now, uh, let's, uh, you know, talk about this floatless, okay? And we also, you know, uh, have an update on a video, which we did a while ago. So let's just, you know, have a concrete understanding of the working of this float switch, uh, floatless. Now, this is a floatless switch. Uh, it uses electrodes and I have a circuit here that we are going to look at as we connect. Now, this device here, uh, it works in two ways. Number one, it drains, okay? So it's mostly used in boreholes. It's mostly used in boreholes because boreholes, uh, since water comes from down where you don't see, uh, sometimes you know, the water table is a bit low and uh, it reaches a time during a dry season, the pump will not be reaching water, okay? So you have this guy and it's electrode down there. Every time, you know, uh, the levels goes below a certain threshold, then this guy will switch off the pump, okay? Equally so, we can use it for water supply, okay? The same way you see a float switch switch off the pump, this one also can switch off using three electrodes, three level electrodes, okay? All right. Now, uh, you have a circuit here uh, that uh, we can, you know, uh, try to look. Now, there are three electrodes, E3, E2, and E1. And this base here, it has got... Uh, those are eight contacts, so they are eight pin. So these are eight pin. Now the two pin are supply. And now it has got two contacts, normally closed and normally open. Now, normally open, usually we use it on the drain and then uh, normally closed, we usually use it on water supply. Okay? And the other thing also uh, you have to note is the ground. If you look at the drawing uh, right here, there is a ground. Uh, number one and E3 are grounded. And the reason why uh, I do that, because there are some leakage, uh, you know, uh, someone said that this is direct, you know, uh, you'll be electrocuted, but it's true, you could be, but that's why it is being earthed here. You have to earth and remove. And by the way, not all the 240 directly are linked to these electrodes. No, uh, it, is a very, it is a small voltage, but we still earth it such that we remove all the residue. So, you know, you're safe. Otherwise, if it was all the 240 in there, you wouldn't be able even to touch your, your piping, especially if you're using GI. Okay, all right. Now, let me explain uh, something here a bit. Now, we have uh, the three contacts right there. We have the three uh, electrodes or probes here. Now, right here, we have fill where you're filling your tank. Right here, we have the drain, where you're draining. Uh, draining is simply uh, it's the same as borehole because the borehole suck water from the underground and pumping it up on the surface, or on the surface tank, all overhead tank. And then filling, you could be pumping water uh, from a lower tank to a higher tank. Okay? So, filling, we have normally closed contact. Okay? We use normally closed contact. Now, initially, when you, the moment you switch on this circuit, it will definitely be on. It, it will start in the on position. The, the normally closed will be, will be closed already. Okay? Here. The circuit will be live. Okay? So your control circuit will be working until levels reaches. Okay? Now, already number E, E3 will be inside, uh, E2 will be inside. Now, water will cover E3 first, then water will reach E2, and the moment water reaches E1, 
Now, the normally closed will open and your circuit will go off. Now, on the drain here, the okay, bring you back on the field. Initially, the tank doesn't have water. Okay, initially, the tank is empty, doesn't have water. So, we fill E3, then we go to E2, then we go to E3. The moment the water reaches E3, okay, the circuit will be off. Now, uh, on the drain, on the drain, this is what happens. Initially, we have water. Okay, here, initially, we have water. Now, what happens is that if the pump pumps and then water uh, goes below E1, okay, it will go below E1, the pump will still pump. The moment water goes below E3, I mean E2, the pump will go off. You will not wait until it goes below E3, okay? The moment it goes below E2, the pump will go off. The circuit will be off. Now, because the circuit is automatic, the moment water will go back to E2, uh, still the pump will not work. The moment it goes to E3, now the circuit will be live and the pump will start working. Okay? So, that's how this whole thing uh, work. Okay? It doesn't confuse. That's how it work. That's how you have to understand it. If you have any question, put in the comment section below. Now, let's go ahead and wire this. Okay, we have a base. Now, what we are going to do, we have these lights here. So that's what we are going to use as the, our circuit. Okay? All right. Now, the first thing we are doing is we need to, we need to connect our power supply. Okay? Right now, we have to connect our electrodes. Now, remember, electrode is number one, number three, and four. Okay, now let's go ahead and connect our load. Now we are connecting the neutral. Okay, now our circuit is very much okay, very much uh, finished, okay? And uh, we have to put our relay. Now, what we have to do is to have this cup of water. Okay, and what I'm going to do is I need to hook up these bulbs. And these bulbs help us to know the status. Okay. All right, uh, now we have got our first electrode. Now, the one thing you have to understand here that this yellow wire is now, this yellow wire is our E3, okay? And it always is always in water. Secondly, uh, you have to earth it, okay? Now, we have red, which is our E2, and we have black, which is our E1. Now, let's begin with the fill, okay? Now, the moment, uh, first, I'll remove one bulb. Now, let's begin with the fill. Okay, now this is our motor, uh, this bulb here. And the moment I switch it on, 
the moment the circuit goes live, it's on, okay, already, because the normally closed is just in the closed position. The moment you like the circuit, it remains like that. But now the pump, the the overhead tank is getting water. Okay, the pump is filling water. The water is filling. Now remember, uh, E two is red. Now water fill until it reaches E two. Okay, and nothing will happen. The pump still pumps. The pump continues to pump. The moment it reaches E1, which is our black, mm, the pump now will go off. Okay? Now, as you go on using that water, you use water one by one. You're using water. The, the, the levels are going down. Now, as the level goes down, ah, the level will go down below E1. And the moment the level go below E2, again, the pump will start to run. Okay? Again, remember, E3 is down. Okay? So, again, the pump will again start filling, 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 filling. Levels will reach E2. Okay? And the pump will continue to pump until it reaches E1. And the pump will go off. Okay? Now, hope we, we understood there. So, we are now changing and we want to see uh, the other side. If we are draining, okay? Now, we are draining. You're draining your sump, okay? And the pump is inside the sump, okay? All right. Now, let's see. Now, Definitely, uh, nothing will happen, okay? Nothing will happen because uh, it, it is normally open. So nothing will happen until you actuate it, okay? Now, let's see this. Let's see this. Now, because this pump cannot pump, okay, if the sump is the water is below levels, Okay, that's why it's a protection. It's not for fun, it's a protection. So long as the levels are down, this pump will not work. Versus on the on the field. The moment you switch on the circuit, it will start running because it's just filling. Okay, it's just filling the tank. The, the, the floatless is controlling the tank that is being filled. Now here the floatless is controlling the tank. Oh, it's controlling the, uh, the tank we, where we are getting water from. And we are protecting the pump not to get problems. Okay? So, how is that working? Now, if it is down. Now, let me say that now uh, uh, your septic tank, uh, it's getting full now. Okay? Now, watch. Your septic tank will get full. Okay? It's now filling. It will reach E2. And the pump will not run. Okay. Now, the moment it goes and reaches, uh, watch even this, and reaches E1. Now, the pump will start, you know, pumping. Now, it gets water. It gets your sump, uh, pumping water from your sump. Or it's pumping, pumping that, uh, you know, water from your septic tank. Now, as, again, water levels goes down, 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 down below E1, the pump will continue to pump. Okay? It will continue to pump. Now, the moment the levels goes E2, okay? The pump will go off because the levels have gone uh, below E2. You remember our circuit? Here. E3 is always inside the water, okay? The moment the levels go below E1, what the pump is still pumping, the moment they go below E2 here, the pump will go off, okay? Once again, levels are coming up. Levels are coming up. Now, they'll come up, they'll cover E2. Pump will not run until they cover E1. 
once again levels start go down because your pump is now sucking okay and levels will go down ah e1 the pump is pumping the moment it goes below e2 it goes off now i hope that was awesome thank you very much uh, for watching i appreciate that you've watched until this far if you're new here subscribe and like now, what you have to know that this guy here is a protection for pump. Now, when you're draining, we are protecting the pump, okay? But when you're filling, actually, we don't want just water to be spilled, okay? Because, uh, you know, we are still protecting the pump, but also we don't want water to spill over, okay? It tank to overflow. So that's why we use this. So if you don't want to use a float switch, and you want to use this by the way this is uh, very ideal okay it's very much ideal and uh, it's better to use it i can recommend it okay so thank you very much for watching i really really appreciate so once again if you're new here don't forget to subscribe to like and share one thing i want to tell you uh don't forget to ask electrode number three it should be earth because it's always in water it, it uh those wires carry some leakages so you better remember that okay so thank you very much until next time i am out